Hi, my name is Dougie Duncanson and I am the Diageo World Class Ambassador here in Kenya. And this is a story of the Kenyan chapter of Diageo World Class. World Class is renowned as the Oscars of bartending around the world. It's a global competition. And here in Kenya, we have 40 bartenders that are competing for a place in the global finals in Berlin, Germany in October 2018. We're gonna take you on a journey showing how 40 bartenders go down to six to here at the Tusker Arena here in Nairobi, where this evening they will be serving punch to over 200 guests who will be voting as one part of the challenge to help create our winner. One mixologist will represent Kenya at the global finals in Berlin, Germany. Okay, so we are here with our first bartender ready to compete in the Signature Serves Challenge today. So let us know who you are and where you're from, sir. My name is Alawi Steven. I'm Nicolas Ndongo. My name is Patrick Kwanel Oyeno. Denis Onditi. I'm from Aban Gome Baga. I represent Femme of the Norfolk. I'm representing Argenti. I represent a Hotel. I'll be making a Martinez. Station of Dafka. The Tale of the Traveling. Love Potion. Spicy Margarita. Bloody Friday. Will or Will. <laughs> Holy boy, holy boy. Thank you. There we go. Nicely done. <laughs> That's what this thing is. <laughs> Time's up. Okay, there is a certificate inside with somebody's name on it. Mm -hmm. Take out the certificate and read their name. And will they join us on stage, please? Angel Riviera. <laughs> Evans Odiambo. Kelvin Dyer. Patrick Matua. Mr. Samuel Nguido. Uh, yes. <laughs> Paranji Singh. Oh, yes. <laughs> So we're moving on to the first challenge of the final day. This is the heat of the moment, the follow-up to the heat of the moment studios. Our six finalists are just prepping to present their fantastic cocktails to our two judges. Let's see how they get on. My name is Kelvin Tyro. Today I'll make you a rum cocktail with Ron Zakapa, first washed with sesame oil. So I'll take 60 ml of the Ron Zakapa, 30 of the oil sacrum, and I'll take 30 of the, tea, the Nim Beaters. My drink's a start drink, and I'll call it the Majestic. Here you go. It's ready for the serving. Hola, el juez. Mi nombre is Patrick. You come in. Uh, World Class 2018. Ben Vito. Now today my drink is all about appreciating the farmer. I want to make a drink and dedicate it to them. They do a very good job. They make sure that we've got fine sugar cane to make this drink. And my drink is called El Jaro, the farmer. Roll it. There you go. Hop. Shop. 60 ml. Oops. Oh, Jaro. Sorry, sorry. I've got jam, jasmine kombucha that I've made. And then we've got some lemon juice. 15 ml. We've got coconut water. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> Shake it. Hola, 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 where are you guys? There you go. Nice one. I've got pineapple, espuma, butter washed. Judges, allow me to present to you El Jaro, the farmer. Hi, I'm Angel, and I'm here to continue my story. On my previous episode, I mentioned that in Kenya, we are known for a couple of things. Wildlife, tourism, and of course, the amazing tea. Episode 2, Wildlife. The name of my na drink is Tembo. Tembo means elephant in Swahili. And it also means alcohol. So the tale starts with uh, Ronsa Kappa that uses virgin sugar cane rather than molasses. Pineapple, mango, and banana are all iconic fruits in Kenya. So, equal parts. Pinaculada naturally became my favorite concoction. And just a touch of truffle oil, it will bring out its earthy, nutty, sensory feeling that will linger in your tongue. Six months ago, I went to Sheldrick Elephant Orphanage. The babies are the result of this brutal ivory poaching trade. I want to have this chance to create a cocktail that will represent them. I believe that Kenya has the right 
and needs to be known all over the world. Once again, my name is Angel and Diva Kenya. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Sam. <laughs> yeah, my name is Samuel from Mojito's Lounge. Today, I want to present to you a cocktail by the name Over the Rainbow. The reason as to why I call that cocktail Over the Rainbow is because of uh, Ronza Kappa is aged in a house called, you know, above the clouds. That is why I, I call my cocktail over the rainbow. I'm using 10 mils of cinnamon flavored sugar syrup, 15 mils of pineapple juice, the hibiscus ice cubes, mint. Then I'll just single strain this and do a bit of a top up of my tamarind soda. Garnish it with fresh mint and a leaf of pineapple. Thank you so much. That is my cocktail. So my name is Evan Sodiambo from Kempiski. So today I want to present my cocktail. The name is Slow and Clouds. Slow first is because of the, the maturation, uh, the maturation that, that happens to Zakapa. We have the house above the clouds and out of slow. So with the, uh, Lorena Valdez, he's, he has worked with the, with the Zacapa for 30 years and that is the, is the master blend. So what, what she does is she marries different casks. We have uh, sherry casks, we have- uh, Three minutes down, two minutes We have go. three casks, we have uh, American bourbon cask, we have uh, French cask, we have sherry cask, so this kind of cask bring that robust and complex, complex kind of texture in the palate. So first, I'm going to take the ice. Then this is sweet melon. And then I have uh, lemon juice, that's 30 ml. I have a maple ogit syrup, just to complement the sweetness and also the front note. Go. And then we have uh, We have Ron Zakapa, 60 ml. Two, one, time's up, continue. So I'm going to double strain my cocktail. And then I'm going to garnish it with a caramelized sweet melon. And then we have, uh, these are homemade chocolate bitters. Good afternoon, judges. My name is Paramjit. I'm from Nyama Mama. And today I'm making a cocktail called Appreciation. And why I gave this name to my cocktail was I want to say thanks to DIGO for giving us a, such a big platform to showcase our talent in front of everyone. This is black rose tea to get a nice aroma. I'm using 1.25 ml of Angustra bitter. Then I'm using 1.25 ml of orange bitter. Now I'm using 2.5 ml of chocolate bitter. It gives some chocolatey flavor. Some Aperol, 2.5 ml get some fruity flavor. Lagavulin well 16 years, give some smoky flavor in my cocktail. In the last, my activated infused charcoal. Garnish it, I'm using same activated charcoal and a black rose. That's called appreciation. Thank you very much. You remove the charcoal. Oh, wow. So we're back here at the Tusker Arena for Diageo World Class Kenya and we're getting down to the business end of this competition. This is the fifth out of six challenges. This is now the presentation of a single cocktail to the judges but that cocktail will be replicated in challenge number six as a punch serve to our guests this evening who will make the popular vote for that challenge. Let's see how they all get on. It's Kelvin once again. Now I come up with a new cocktail. This is called the Tangare Breeze. It's a good cocktail for the summer, for people who want to have fun. I'll put 60 ml of my Tangare, 30 ml fresh cucumber juice, and I'll put some 30 ml of lemon cordial, homemade actually. I'll put my main ingredient. This is a mixture of thorn melon and watermelon. Then I'll do a shock shake, because I don't want to dilute my cocktail too much. I'll fine strain it on my thorn melon shell. I'll top up with a dash of tonic. 
a cucumber fruit garnish, and lastly, I'll flame it with, a, with lemon zest. And there you go. My cocktail is done and ready for the judges. As always, I know you thought that I know only one language. I'm going to take you to German right now, to Berlin. Guten Tag. My name is Patrick. Ich komme aus Kenya. Ich bin Maxologist von Beruf. Welcome. And now today, I'd like to trick you a little bit so that you can give me that ticket by presenting to you this Tankari-based cocktail called the Bradenburg Town. 60 ml of my Tankari G. Then we've got our lemon juice. We're going to do 15 ml of it, just a little bit. Elderflower, which the fermented one, just do 15 ml of it. I'm going to do elderflower liquor, 10 ml of it, 10 ml of egg whites. Does this show my trick? Here we go. Then we spice it a little bit with black pepper. And then we add our grape juice a little bit. And then we dry shake it. Strain it nicely. For the garnish, you notice a lot of flowers, as I told you there before. And then to wind it up, I've got my gold dust. Done. Our, brown, our Bundes black is ready. Thank you. The name of my drink is Rafiki. It means friend in Swahili. The cocktail will represent on how I started my bartending journey. Once a friend told me that nothing happens by coincidence. And everything happens for a reason. For instance, 1987, Thomas Bullitt, the new frontier bourbon was revived by its own family recipe. 1987 is the year I was born. Nothing happens by coincidence. People love to travel to Kenya is because of the wildlife we have. So I wanted to put it in a cocktail in the form of five famous fruits. So I have pineapple, mango, banana, watermelon, and of course the tree tomato. Using some citrus, I want to balance it with the people using Kenyan tea. Some bitters because life needs bitterness sometimes. I was born and raised in Philippines as a nursing student. My mom, who loves watermelon, tried so hard to give me a better future and send me to a medical school. But I know that wasn't what I want. Eleven years ago, my mom died of breast cancer. And that is the darkest moment of my life. Actually, today I am here. Three minutes down, two minutes to go. I want to thank my friends, my family, who's been there with me, who inspired me to move on and be the person I become. In life, we go on different stages in life, ups and downs. It doesn't matter who wins, rather who loses, but never give up. Today, they will be all watching, and I want to make them proud, and myself proud, to Kenya with all my heart, my Rafiki. Cheers, and viva Kenya. Afternoon. I'm doing another cocktail called Rocky Bizarre. R O B C I. Basically, it's just the, the word zero shuffle. Okay. So, uh, and uh, bizarre, you know, I want to use uh, to mean like, uh, unusual, strange, fantastic. So, right here is a potato I have baked, this sweet potato. And since vodka was initially from the Russians made from potato, I tried to combine the traditional Russian way of making vodka and also represent my own culture with the potato. Everything is edible, you drink and eat. So I'll go to my cocktail which has 45 ml of Ciroc vodka. Then I have made a, a mixture of berries with aloe vera sap and then give it a bit of a tangy ending and a dash of bitters. So my drink is shaken 
I'm done, so uh, let me serve you the drink. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, judges. Back again, this is Evans from Kempiski. I'd like to present another cocktail by the name Morning Dew. So every morning when I wake up, uh, very chill in the morning, what I see is the Morning Dew. So my cocktail is Morning Dew. Singleton is fruity with a uh, hot flavor and uh, things like spices like cinnamon. So I, I, I came up with something that is going to make it more refreshing and also balance in terms of the palate. So I'm going to use uh, 60 ml of singleton, 90 ml of acai berry. This is my lemon juice, so this is 30 ml. So I'm going to shake it. So it has a very nice froth. I'm going to garnish it with uh, very beautiful flowers. And also, this is a edible uh, gold powder. We need smoke to complement uh, the visual of uh, the morning dew. It's like a mist kind of coming from the grass. So that's my cocktail. Welcome back, judges. So here's my next creation for World Class 2018. I call it Relate. Why I'm calling it Relate? Because I get a chance to make this cocktail in front of you guys. That's why I call it Relate. For this, I'm using 5 ml of lime juice. The next ingredient, I'm using Kenyan tea. As we all know, Kenya is well known for their teas and it's having a bit spicy and bitterness flavor in there. Next thing, I'm using almond liqueur. Get some creamy texture and a little bit of bitterness in my cocktail. Next thing is cranberry juice. Get some sweet and tart flavor for the cocktail. And the base of my drink is bullet bourbon. So I'm putting this in a 45 ml. Stir the drink. So I want to do a garnish with the granulated almond. Done. Nice. Well, the sun's almost setting here in Nairobi, and the sun is almost setting on World Class 2018. And I'm sat here with Michelle and Brian, our judges for today. And I just want to have a quick wrap up with the two of you of what you've experienced from our contestants today. Um, We'll start with the best last. Um, <laughs> so Brian, we'll go to you first. Really, really good. I think it's been a tough one for everybody today, you know, because uh, it's it's a lot easier when there's about 25, 30 people in the room, but when there's only six, it's uh, yeah. pressure's on, and it was very, very clear today. Mm -hmm. We mentioned it earlier, but you've uh, you've you've judged world class two times now. This is your third time. It's my third. What what's really stood out for you today of what what the guys and girls have done for us today? For me, what really stood out is that I think you know a few years back you'd find that maybe someone was like very good at presentation and that would be their thing, but maybe not so good in another area. Mm -hmm. Today, what made it really hard to judge was the fact that they were nailing it in almost every single, you know, area that we were critiquing them on. You could find that it was actually like a, a really good range of skills that they had and that's what was exciting for me. I actually said to the, the guys when we had a quick briefing with them that if any of those six had performed in the last three years, how they perform today they they would have won last year or any of oh, last yeah. year's three years world class in kenya so we're about to go from six to one we're about to find out who is our national champion and go all the way to berlin and see how kenya can represent at the global finals let's see who our winner is all of these numbers added up together there can only be one winner one person is going to be crowned out of these six kenya's number one mixologist for 2018 Right guys, this is the moment of truth. No more messing around, okay? The winner of World Class 2018 to represent Kenya in Berlin is Patrick Matua. <laughs> to express but uh, thanks to God he has come home. I've been looking forward to have this golden uh, shaker in my shelf. Now I have it. Thanks to God. I'm going to represent more of the Kenyan flair because I think in Kenya we have got good bartenders, good mixologists who can make good drinks and take them to the next level.
There you go. Thank you guys. I'm so much humbled.